this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. Appreciate all the support. Appreciate everything that y'all doing for the Toy community. Appreciate all the comments. Appreciate all the love. And like I said before, the number one goal of his is to uphold the Constitution, defend the Second Amendment. With that said, people, y'all the storm, just the messenger, just the average citizen, people who's trying to preserve the Second Amendment for future generations. And no fame and no glory over here. And it's going to take us, the citizens, to get that done. The president, the politicians, up to my none of your celebrities and superstars, none of them people can do it, people, if they could. We will be talking about this right now. So I want to talk about the NRA. I want to give another perspective when it comes to the NRA. Like I said before, over here, um, you know, I'm out of the box over here, people. So, you know, you know, I can move all over the place and everything. So don't think I'm set in one way because, you know, I like to look at a lot of things. Sometimes I like to pull myself back and just look at a whole nother picture. Now, when it comes to the NRA, I know there's a lot of people on both sides. You know, a lot of people say, hey, let's keep the NRA. Some people said, let's get rid of them. We don't need them. Now, to my, that's what I've been seeing. But see, when it comes to me, I want to look at a lot of things. You know, when it comes to the NRA, yes, they got a lot of problems. Yes, we need to criticize them to, to make the organization better. We need to get the people out of there that's corrupt and stuff. We've been talking about, yes, them things that as gun owners, you know, we sending our money to the NRA, you know, the organization that's out there. Yes, we need to have input to keep them, you know, running strong, fighting for the Second Amendment. But when it comes to the NRA, you know, to my, you have Latita James come out. You have everybody that's pretty much that's wanting to take your Second Amendment away, ready to pretty much destroy the NRA. You got gun owners jumping in, piling on top of the, the, the other people who's wanting to get rid of your Second Amendment. So we jumping on top of the pile on top of them. They're going to hurry up, finish off the NRA. But not so fast, people. I'm talking about because it's a lot of things we have to look at. And, you know, I see the headlines, I see all the momentum and all the stuff that everybody's saying, but we have to look at some more things now because the NRA been around for a long time. I'm talking about, yes, they pretty much dwindle a lot of gun owners' money and stuff for all this, you know, stuff that they've been claimed to be doing. But the NRA has been a huge support of gun lobbyists. I'm talking about, the NRA has spent a lot of money, more money than a lot of organizations that I have looked at pretty much sending, um, you know, lobbyists and stuff to, to Washington to fight for your gun rights, people. And so, you know, with this rush to go and tear the NRA up and everything, now I'm for pretty much um, disbanding the people that's inside the NRA, getting rid of them and putting new people in to try to preserve it and, you know, keep it, you know, strengthen it back up, make it a better organization, pretty much, you know, just kind of change a lot of things that's going on. Get rid of the people who pretty much bring it down the NRA. Put some new people in. Keep the organization going. Join with other gun organizations out there and fight for our Second Amendment people. We need everybody on our side. We need all the people we can right now because the opposition is loading up. They're loading up, people. They got billionaires. They're using your tax dollars. They're using money that you got the, 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 the gun activists and stuff who want to pretty much get rid of it. The gun control activists who want to get rid of your Second Amendment. They're donating. They're using everything at their disposal. Everything at their disposal to get rid of your Second Amendment. And as gun owners, we don't need to be tearing up the support and everything that we have because we need all the people we can right now. We in a, we in a battle right now. We in a huge fight for our Second Amendment. And some people don't understand that. So when it comes to the NRA, you have Latita James come out. Hey, that's dismantling everything. Pretty much just gave gas to the, the gun control organizations and stuff. Bloomberg, his groups, and everyone that wanted to take his Second Amendment pretty much just gave them a boost of, you know, supporting everything. So now they're rallying on top of tearing down the NRA. But the problem is, people, we need money in this fight. And the NRA has spent a lot of money on lobbyists to go to Washington and fight for your Second Amendment. Now, you're going to see a chart. This is a chart of the NRA. Now, in 2019, they have dropped off. But, you know, just to think just think about this, people, because I like people to think about stuff. This is not nothing that you get emotional about. A lot of people get very emotional. This is stuff that we have to talk about. We have to be in the fight to preserve the Second Amendment. And that's what my job is. I'm talking about, so right now, if the NRA is pretty much... Their money, the cash flow, as far as what I'm looking at when it comes to NRA, a lot of reports and everything, the cash flow has plummeted, people, since this 
um, Latita James come out and said that, you know, with this investigation, said that, you know, they've been embezzling money and stuff in the organization. The cash flow has plummeted. I'm talking about spending. Now, for Trump, they spent millions, millions in 2016 to support Trump for um, his election and everything. Now, we look at this year. Some of the reports, people, I'm saying they spent less than, um, they are, they done spent less than a million dollars. Now, they have been proposing they're going to spend millions and millions and more in the election, but I have not seen evidence they have dumped millions right now in, you know, Trump election. But I'm talking about, you know, right now for some of the data, um, you know, concrete data and stuff, it's less than a million. Some reports saying it's a little over $250,000. That is a huge <laughs> difference between they spent tens of millions, like 50 million, 40 million in 2016, and now it's less than a million. That is a huge problem, people. And the problem I'm trying to point out is if they spent less now, this year in this election, that means that's less money they spent on gun lobbyists. So you have to think about that. And right now, Bloomberg is suited up. Him and his him and his allies right now are suited up, and he's ready to rain down millions of people to pretty much stop on your Second Amendment right now. And you know some stuff coming out with Bloomberg, so he's ready to stop on your Second Amendment right now. He's gearing up. He's powered up. And as gun owners, we have to start. Looking at the strategy, because I keep telling you, the people who want to take your guns have a long-term strategy. They're using a wide playing field. As gun owners, we don't need to narrow our, narrow our playing field because that's what we've been doing. We need to take up to my. We need more people in the fight right now. Up to my, you got a lot of people enjoy the Second Amendment. They love all the stuff and everything, but right now, people, we need to be in the fight because I have been looking at for decades. You have people sitting out. Of the fight for the preserve the Second Amendment, you got you got a lot of people fighting, but you got a lot of people that's sitting out and they assume that hey, this is normal. I'm talking about we're gonna win and lose, win and lose. But the problem is when we win and lose, win and lose, gun owners, we are losing little bit at a little bit at a time, little bit at a time, people. So we're losing a little bit at a time, and in the long run, they getting they grabbing more and more of your gun rights. And that's what I'm trying to, to, to put out to let people know that we need to get on board now. Yes, there's a lot of gun organizations. I see a lot of people say, oh, you know, join this organization, this organization. No, we need all the organizations. We need more organizations. We don't need to focus on one or two organizations. When it comes to the people trying to take your gun rights, people, they got a whole bunch of organizations. They keep building and building. They're not tearing down their organization. They're building more organizations. The more organizations, the stronger you are. So that's what we need to start doing in the two-way community and everything. But I want you to look at another side when it comes to the NRA and everything. And like I said before, no people might, might, might not like what I'm saying and everything. But the fact of the matter is, the goal over here is to preserve the Second Amendment for future generations. And we're going to have to do what we're going to have to do, people. Um, I appreciate you watching. If you watched to the end, got a lot more content coming and stuff. Um, we're just trying to look at solutions and stuff over here. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.